Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before and if you're new, thanks for joining me. Um, I am going to do my haul for August. This may well be the last one I do for a while because I need to cut back. I've got so many books <clears throat> that I don't really need any more. I do have uh, some on pre-order so they will come. And of course I've got my Colour in Heaven subscription. Uh, but I'm going to try and, and keep it down a bit, not uh, buy as many books uh, for the next few months because Christmas is coming slowly. However, I have got uh, a few books for you to show you and I've also got a few little bits of supplies, but not much. So let's get started. So the first thing I bought was a tub of Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. I know this is a sealant, um, so good for sealing your... Uh, Diamond paintings and things, so if I ever get back to my diamond paintings, you never know, <laughs> I might use it. Um, I know you can always just put it over a picture as well if you want some glitter in places. I did buy the Brute Funa 50 Macaron Colours, which are oil-based pencils and they're all very pastel. I haven't swatched these yet, I will be doing a first impressions video on them for you. Let's see one's come out at some point. And we'll have a good look at those, see what we think of them. The colours are beautiful looking at them. And the last thing I've got on the supplies was I saw these on somebody's page, uh, a YouTube uh, channel. This is uh, Art Artex Acrylic Marker Set. And again, we will be doing a uh, swatching and first impressions. So they're dual ended. You've got a fine nib and a brush. Like so they don't they just want a little bit but not not much it might just be my imagination um but there's two layers in there so we've got that layer and that layer so i will be swatching those um in a video for you fairly soon i'm looking forward to that i can't wait to start using these i don't really want to use these and the other ones but i'm putting off using them until i've filmed a video for you so you know what i think of them when i first try them so i'll pop those out the way so onto the books, because that's all the supplies. I do want to save up in case I need some more markers at some point, although I've got plenty at the moment. I do go through them. So I bought some books from another YouTuber, um, Elm Colours or Elm Colours, something like that. Anyway, she was getting rid of a load of books. So I did get from her the Anne Stokes Fantasy Colouring Collection book. I do believe I've got to flip through this up, or if not up, ready to go up. Oh, it's a beautiful book paper's quite nice as well then I've got <clears throat> she was selling Jasmine Beckett Griffiths mermaids so this is the first Jasmine Beckett Griffiths book I've got though I have got some of her work in obviously colouring heaven issues and stuff like that uh, but yeah I really like it I, so I will be colouring in that as soon as I can you use pencils or markers just means that if you use your markers you lose the writing on the back which tells you a bit about the picture but oh it's a beautiful book I'm so glad I got that and I also got from her the Kalia Zodiac book and I wanted to see what these were like um because I like the fact that they're spiral bound at the top being left-handed it's not very good when they're spiral bound on the right hand side so yeah I like this really really nice very very thick paper very thick thick cardstock isn't nice <laughs> excuse me oh, that's really really nice so i'm looking forward to coloring in that one so i have a thing for cameras so i bought this book which is the cameras coloring book mostly cameras are, tend to be black silver and gray but you do get some um ones that are like red and pink and green movie cameras there, it looks like an in sack, oh dear me, so you got a folder, they're just basic, I just thought it'd be something really nice, Polaroid to, to do every now and again if I, if I you know, fancied it, twin lens reflex, so that's the cameras colouring book, it's very silly but I do love cameras, you know me, I did get of course I got Moon Valley by Maria Trolley. I'm not going to not get that one, am I? Let's be honest, I, I've got all the others of hers. So there is a flip through going up soon. I think this is lovely, this book. Yeah, 
So I won't do more in Maria Trolley's uh, books, but uh, yeah. What I'm really hoping to colour in this month is another hardback book and it's Tales from the Wittage Cottage by Hannah Carlson. Again, I love Hannah Carlson. I haven't got the newest one, which is Tales from the City or something. And I haven't got Grains of Gold, though I probably will get them at some point. I just love all these like that. Is it a single or is it a double? Oh, who knows? I just love these Carlson pictures, though. So definitely going to colour in this one this month. Well, that little cottage is so cute with the cat on the roof. Another one I saw on somebody's channel, and I can't remember who it is because I watched so many and I forget to write down their names, was the um, Satchy and Satchy Davis Patrick's Day Colour by Number. Now, obviously, it's nowhere near St. Patrick's Day, but I had to get this. It's so cute. Jennifer wants one as well, so I said, well, once you can read the colours, I'll buy her some Colour by Number books like these. Um, Oh, a little froggy. I, I love it. I think it's great and I do want to colour in it a lot, lot more. Um, I don't care whether it's St Patrick's Day or not, I'm going to colour in this. <laughs> Next on the list is Chibi Witches by Coco Wayo. Again, I've seen this on so many channels so I thought oh, I'll pick it up. Some, some really cute ones in this one again. I have filmed a flip through, it will be up fairly shortly. But yeah, I like things like this, they're really nice. I've got a couple of Camellia Angel covers this month. I've got Easy and Simple Flower Mandalas because I like an easy one to do every now and again. And it's just, they're literally very simple and pretty flowers in a mandala. And I can do these so easily, they're so easy to do. I just like to watch TV or YouTube and just colour along. Well, I'm watching. I do apologise for yawning. I have been, I have done a bit of exercise today. I've done some hula hooping with a weighted hula hoop and I am actually shattered. And I got 50 Splendid Princesses. <clears throat> so this is one of, I think, one of our earlier books. And it's princesses. And I think it's lovely. And the cameos. I think they're just absolutely sweet pictures. So I'm hoping to do some... And that one soon. When did that come out? Okay, oh, last year, so it wasn't that long ago. So I haven't seen many people do this one. I have this one on their channel, so I wanted it because I think it's cute. I got one of the very few Jade Summer books that I haven't got, and that was Adorable Owls. Now, the reason I didn't get this previously is because I'm one of those people who likes to colour things the way they should look. But obviously, as you can see, you can colour these however you want. Um, I do like them and so I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to get it and have a go. I'm currently working through my Jade Summer books, trying to get a picture in each one. Is Christmas one, I like that one. Trying to get one done in every single book slowly. So I am getting there. So I just added a new one and I think he's really cute. So I'll be doing him soon. Got my Relax With Arts. I got the Holidays in the Sun special. So they do a special every three months. And obviously it's been summer, so there is a flip through of this up on the channel as well. I, I do like these books. I think they're lovely. Sometimes they're really hard to, to do because there's so much going on in them. But I mean, that one's quite simple. Hello, Summer. Even though Summer is now on its way out. We don't mind. I'll colour Summer all year round, same as I'll colour Christmas all year round and Halloween. <laughs> And then I got with the normal issue, which is issue 96, Relax With Art, and it's got this Egyptian cover on it, and I love anything to do with ancient Egypt, as you know. So, again, various pictures. You've got buildings, patterns, animals. It's quite a cute one. Weddings, so you've got your lovely girls. Underneath the sea, plant pot with a cat sitting in it. So that's a nice one. I do like that one. So that is Relax With Art, issue 96. If you want to have a look uh, to see if you want to buy this from the website, there is a flip through up. Then I got this one from the works. This is called Mandala Colouring Book for Adults, but uh, to be honest, although it is very mandala on the front, they're not really mandalas. They're more just patterns. Not that I've got a problem with that because I quite like them. They're really good. I'll get in there with some fine liners or some marker pens. 
depending like that's quite big spaces and then you get ones with a bit little spaces you can use your fine liners on I have to stop recording I have nearly finished we are right at the end now of, of all these books there's quite a lot of books this month <clears throat> but like I said I'm, I am going to be slowing down a bit then I've got uh, Fashion Circus by Carla Magana there's a tab in it because there's a page I'm going to colour in this month nice I love this book. Again, this is another book I love. But I haven't coloured in it yet, obviously, because it's new. But I, I really want to do some in that one. And then, again, I saw this on somebody's channel this month, last month. And I loved it. I thought, I've got to get that. And this is Kawaii Colour by Numbers by Colour Questopia. I've only done, like, five in it. And I only bought it this month. So it's not going to last very long at this rate. But I just, I mean, it's got some of the other stuff in it as well, but they're all little quiet ones. You can do the outline as well. Space there. And I just love it. I've, like I said, I've already done like something like five in there. There's probably 30 and I've done five of them, or 25 and I've done five of them already. So, yeah. Uh, next year I may well do a 10 books to finish in 23. You never know. And the last book I got is it's a, a book of 300 mandalas now there's no actual artist on these these are just clip arts that have been taken off the net and could well be stolen from other artists i don't know so i haven't done a flip through of it because there's so many different styles and they are quite in some places pixelated i haven't recognized any from some of the books i got but i wouldn't surprise oh i like that one if i came across them somewhere but i i do like doing these mandalas and some of these are really quite simple to just sit and do as and when I feel like it. So, those are all the books and supplies I bought in August and I think there's uh, quite enough there to keep me going. But like I said, I've got quite a lot here. I've got a lot I haven't coloured in already and I am trying to work my way through them. So, if there's anything you want to see a flip through of that isn't already up on the channel, check my playlist out, let me know. I may have already filmed one, but I may not have. Uh, if you want to see me colour in any of these books, leave me a link, down, leave me a comment down below as well. Somebody did say they want me to colour in this one, I believe, uh, so I will do at some point. I will put that in my on my list to do. And I will see you in my very, very next video, which will be completed pages. It's our two favourite... Um, videos of the month isn't it hauls and completes um and i've had a good month of uh, completes as well so i'll see you then bye everyone